Hey guys, it's Matt here. I'm doing a little video log of the uh, budget gaming build that I'm doing. Um, as of right now, all the parts should be, they should have been here today, so hopefully tomorrow. Just wanted to go over the actual full cost of everything, not just the you know tower that everyone else does, the monitor, the desk. You know, I mean, most people you know, getting into it may not have a computer desk or a chair. I want to put that into the budget also and the price in the end. So, so far the products that I have are the Samsung 1080p monitor, 60 hertz. Got it at a, just a local electronics store where I'm at in uh, Virginia. It was $100. As well as I have the Asus GTX 750Ti. It was um, from Amazon. Actually got it used, paid $100 for it shipped. And this is, you know, the, came with a box, the CDs. It didn't come with the Molex to six pin adapter or any adapters like that. The case is a NZXT uh, Source 210 Elite, I think is what it's called. The only difference between it and the regular is just it has USB 3 on the front header. Um, the IO shield there, or I'm sorry, the. Uh, optical drive cover is actually in the case it came with all the hardware from new egg paid 29 bucks shipped uh, for refurbished and it's you know there's nothing wrong so far that i can tell as well as the card nothing obviously wrong we'll see when it when i put it in the system so so far we've got the monitor hundred dollars the graphics card a hundred dollars and the case which is 29.99 um the in the CPU that I've bought is the Intel G uh, Devil's Canyon Dual Core. I can't remember the specific product number. Something 58. Got it off of in. Let's see. Uh, got it from NCIX.com. It was 79.99. Pro with the promo code. Or, I'm sorry, 69.99. It was supposed to be here today also. The uh, cooler I got was the Hyper Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo for um, $24. And I got that off of also NCIX.com. The hard drive um, is a solid state 120 gig SanDisk Ultra. Uh, that's the only storage that I'm going to be putting in this one. I don't, use, I don't play a lot of games. The ones that I do, I'm going to try to use a either external hard drive or a external USB 3.0 stick. The um, I also have the SanDisk Ultra USB 3.0 64 gig USB stick. Got it at Walmart, uh, $24 also. Um, and the RAM is just a um, 8 gig stick of 1333 megahertz, just your basic economy memory from New egg for $45. The power supply also came from NCIX.com. It's a EVGA 430 watt 80 plus certified power supply. It was on sale also for $29.99. Uh, that's after the $10 mail-in rebate. Um, it was new. The graphics card was used. The case was refurbished. The monitor was new. The desk I actually got for free. Um, pretty sturdy. The guy next door was moving. I said I could have it. It was really heavy. So that was free. The computer chair I got from a thrift store for $19.99. The motherboard is a Z97 Gigabyte refurbished motherboard from Newegg. The original cost was $139.99 and after the discount it was $79.99. So we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to cut costs at all, you know, in any way possible. Um, the the RAM, the 1333 RAM I was saying, the reason I got 1333 instead of 1600, the Intel Pentium uh, Devil's Canyon dual core and lock CP that I ordered, it actually only supports up to 1333. So you can buy the 1600, it'll work, but it's just going to down clock it to 1333. So for the Kingston 8 gig RAM kit, it was $43 after shipping off of Newegg. And, you know, I only play, like, World of Warcraft, League of Legends, you know, stuff like that. 
nothing too graphically intense so this graphics card and the hope the uh, cpu will hopefully be enough after i overclock them both and I, like i said i'll also be doing guides on that to see what you can realistically realistically get you know i don't know everything about computers just every you know just whatever i research i watch a lot of uh, ncix doc, or tech tips as long as well as linus tech tips big a lot of information has come from them so shout out to them um the i don't know if i said this before but the um the um solid state drive is just a sandisk ultra it was off of new egg for 43 dollars the operating system is windows 8.1 got it from ncix.com on sale for 80 bucks shipped and I'll be upgrading to Windows 10.1 and I'll be showing you how to do that once it's available. The cooler for the CPU is actually going to be a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo that will um, be cooling it. And there's a lot of controversy that I've read online from people saying that it will fit in the NZXT Source 210 and some people say it won't. So we'll see how that works for myself and you guys. The optical drive will be a uh, just a Samsung CD DVD burner. It was on sale on uh, Newegg. I think I paid thirteen dollars for it. And I'll be doing a full build guide, as like I said, well as overclocking some gaming benchmarks to show you. You know, you don't need a lot of fancy high end crap to run the games if you know you're into the same games I am. As well as telling you a total price at the end. As soon as all the parts come in, including, like I said, the monitor, the peripherals, the desk, the chair. Um, as Speaking of the peripherals, it's a Cooler Master mouse and keyboard combo kit. It's a backlit LED. Of the reviews for what you pay is uh, supposed to be pretty decent. It was $29.99 from Newegg. It's a green LED backlit. And if you're wondering what the 64-gig uh, USB sticks for, we're actually going to put World of Warcraft on that, see how that goes, try to save some space. Eventually I will upgrade the hard drive, but as of right now, I, I would recommend getting a, a solid state drive if you don't have a lot of needs for a lot of memory like I do. All I'm going to be putting on is the operating system and like a few applications here or there. The operating systems like, let's say, 30 gigs, a few um, like a PC tweaking utility tools so I'm just gonna you know try to d deal with that for the time being save as much money as possible the case does come with two fans the position that they're orientated that when I got it was the rear exhaust as well as a top exhaust and I am going I switched the top exhaust to the front intake so as right now I've just got two fans hopefully that'll be enough to keep it cool I know the uh, Pentium doesn't produce a lot of heat and especially with that uh, Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler in there to also aid in the exhaust towards the back will be just fine for now. Hopefully I don't run into any heating temperature issues so if I do I'll, sh I'll tell you guys show you what I'm running into and the solution that I come up with. So yeah I just wanted to you know put out a series for you guys that are under a tight budget like me and put everything into account like I am. A lot of people don't do that. The monitor, the operating system, desk, chair, a lot of things people forget. There's a lot of um, savings out there that you can do, you can benefit from if you're willing to you know, take the time and research used products and refurbs. So we'll see how it goes. The motherboard I'm getting is a Gigabyte Z97 motherboard. It was refurbished. It was $139 original. I got it for $79 when it, from New Egg. We'll see how it looks when it gets here. The reason I went with the uh, Z97 is because a lot of people say the Z87, which are compatible with 1150 sockets with the new Intel CPUs, but some people say that you have to use an older CPU to update the BIOS because it needs updated to accept them. I didn't want to have to go through that because, like I said, I don't have an older processor. So this is the route I went. Any parts I forgot, I'll update in the next video, which should be either today or tomorrow, depending on when the next parts come in, as well as a full build guide, some benchmarks, 
just everything you can get out of the bare minimum budget gaming PC. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for your time. Hit like. See you later.